Okay, so we finished in the previous video talking about Kira signaling, and now we're going to talk about the TGF beta signaling. And it's the same same thing that in RAS. You have a signal, you have a transduction of the signal that it will lead to a response that many times is just uh, changing the transcription. Here you have a signal, here it will be slightly different the protein the receptors and look there will be a transduction of the signal here you have the uh, the map kinase you're going to have the proteins that are smed that uh, if you're interested in the pathway they will be important and here again they will produce a change in the expression of the gene expression and in this case again they are going to be involved not a surprise for you in invasion and cell growth so if something is not working now there could be more proliferation or more invasion of, of of there will be a change and the cells can start changing and start moving and go to another tissue so this is why tgf beta is so important so now i'm going to in the following slides now that you know the general picture i'm going to talk in a little bit more detail and show you a video okay so important so GF means growth factor. There will be epithelial growth factor. There will be a PTGF. P, there will be all the GF that it means that are growth factors that are a protein. There are signals that promote cell growth. So here, yeah, it's growth factor. And look, the other thing that I told you is cell migration. And similar to the other T, to the KRAS that we talked last time is produce many signals and depending on the tissue some of those signals can be opposite like here apoptosis okay and here i show you just an schematic of so for example in the macrophage and the mesenchymal all this type of uh, here um, <clears throat> the epithelial mesenchymal transition there is a lot of functions and depending on the tissue and we will study that in development if you're interested in taking those this TGF beta is involved in so many processes. But remember, key information here is that every time that you see the GF is growth factor, in this case is transforming growth factor, and it's a signaling pathway, and it is involving a lot of processes. And as I said before, some of them, they can be opposite. Here, very important cell growth, cell migration, and in some cases, it will be involving apoptosis on cellular homeostasis, okay? So as I said to you in the beginning, here you have the receptors and they have a specific way. These, uh, these receptors, yeah, they are dimers. So I will show you a video of how they work, that they are slightly different to other receptors. Here you will see that they need to fuse to allow the signal to come in. Here you find <clears throat> again the SMAD, all these MAD proteins that they are very important to produce the change in regulation. Okay, so let me show you the video in the following slide. Okay, so remember these are the receptors that are called thyronese kinase. Many of the tyrosine kinase enzymes belong to a subfamily known as the receptor tyrosine kinases which are extremely important in animal cells to achieve their complexity. Receptor tyrosine. Many of the tyrosine kinase enzymes belong to a subfamily known as the receptor tyrosine kinases, which are extremely important in animal cells to achieve their complexity. Receptor tyrosine kinases first bind to a ligand on the exterior of the cell, such as epidermal growth factor or insulin. Receptor tyrosine kinases, which have bound their ligands, can then associate with others in what are known as dimers, where two separate subunits join. This then allows them to be phosphorylated as multiple ATP molecules donate phosphate groups to the tyrosine amino acids on these receptor kinases. These 
phosphates can then in turn be donated to effector proteins for their tyrosine amino acid residues. And this then activates the effector protein. Okay, so in future classes we will talk about this. Uh, remember that I told you about the, um, uh, the MAP kinases pathway, so it means mitogen activated protein kinases. And uh, as you saw, these receptor tyranic kinases are very important. And we, in the following uh, videos, we will talk about RAC and we will talk about this uh, JNK pathway. Okay, so uh, hopefully this was very clear. Uh, so you know more or less how uh, this TGF beta pathway work from a very general perspective.